my expertise mainly is on materials. Uh, we uh, identified as a niche that was not uh, still uh, uh, available in, uh, in, the in, the, in, the, in the literature was uh, connecting together energy, sustainability and materials. Materials have uh, an enormous role in, uh, in the possibility of developing uh, new technologies for producing energy in a renewable way, in a sustainable way for the future. And still uh, uh, there are many technologies that are available, but no one is really exploited in reality because most of the cases there are still problems have, that have to be solved from the material side. When we will uh, uh, solve those problems, I mean, materials will enable those technologies. In this journal, we are matching together materials, uh, energy, and sustainability. And the problem that we are encountering now is that uh, the authors have submitted papers which are not really relevant to all of these three aspects. And these type of papers, I mean, if there are no materials aspect, especially this is the part which is lacking, those, those papers will not be considered for publication in the journal. It is a high quality journal. It is intended to be of, of being a highly, uh, high scientific uh, quality. So papers has to be, uh, have, need to have uh, uh, a content of uh, innovation. They should not be routine papers. Uh, and uh, even if they are just uh, technically sound, uh, this may not be enough for guaranteeing the publication in, in the journal. Uh, overall, the criteria of quality especially uh, is, uh, will be our uh, guiding light in, in uh, feeling, the con feeling the content to the journey. Open access is a model for publication that is increasingly widespread and increasingly considered and accepted. I mean, um, knowledge has to be widely available and now we, we continuously have, are having uh, big differences in uh, economic power uh, from, uh, from developed and undeveloped countries. Uh, but internet is getting widespread and, and uh, the connectivity now is available in mostly most of the country all over the world. So having um, open access uh, content uh, may help also an increase in the knowledge and, and, and understanding of science and research also in developing countries and this uh, may promote also research in those countries finally boosting the economy and then the quality of life of people. So this is I think it's a model that, that should continue for the future. The advantages for the authors in publishing uh, uh, materials for renewable and sustainable energy is the fact mainly that uh, uh, it is an open access journal and the authors do not have to pay for uh, uh, the publication which is the usual model. We are very careful in keeping the scientific quality at the, uh, the level that has to be and uh, it's fully sponsored by uh, the King Abdullah, uh, King Abdulaziz City uh, of Science and Technology, it's Saudi Arabian Foundation. Uh, so there's no economic interest involved uh, in, uh, in accepting papers or, or, or not. Uh, and in addition, there's also another incentive that uh, CAXTA, the Saudi Foundation is also giving a, a prize uh, and a medal for the best paper published in, during one year. So this would be an additional advantage and, and incentive for, uh, for authors in uh, decide to publish in, uh, in, in that journal.